I bless you, I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, are tuning in, wherever you are watching and are listening to the word of God, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you uh, as you join us to receive the word of God. Uh, God bless you, God bless you, and uh, thank you very much for joining us today. It is a great joy to receive the word of God each and every day as we uh, eat uh, our, our physical food, our daily food, uh, so that you can stay alive. Uh, it is very important and it's very crucial that you and I, uh, each and every day, we find the right food. And I'm talking about spiritual food. Uh, as you join us today to receive the word of God, uh, I want to tell you that uh, you are receiving uh, the right spiritual food. Uh, it is all about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It all comes around our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we are always uh, glorifying his name. We always praise him and we always thank him for what he has done for you and I because if it wasn't because of Jesus Christ, uh, you and I would never uh, be here where we are. And we do not know uh, what, what could have happened to us because as you tune in today, my friends, uh, you know pretty well that there are so many people out there who are already suffering. Some of them are in hospitals. Some of them, they are going too much struggle. And... Uh, it is struggles of all kinds. So, uh, it is time to rejoice. You should uh, uh, give glory to him who came and paid the price uh, for you and I. And even those who are suffering, it's not because he does not love them. Anything that happens in our lives, he knows, he knows. Uh, he knows and he sees each and everything. So, don't be discouraged. Don't don't be disappointed. He has never he has never left you alone. He is still right there. Or I just want to see: Are you keeping your eyes on Him? Are you keeping your eyes each and every day on Him? At every move you make, every step you make in this life, are you keeping your eyes on Him, or you are just uh, here for um, a, a, bit of, a bit of time and then you move your eyes all over the place on anything and everything in, in this life where we are being caught up and uh, taken away and uh, carried away by uh, so many things, too much distraction that is out there. You know, so this is why uh, I, I'm, uh, I am encouraging you uh, to always know where to go get the right food. It's not about the church you attend, but it is exactly who is giving you the right food because there are so many thieves out there. There are so many uh, uh, false prophets and uh, antichrists, they are there. And uh, false apostles, they, they classify and they name themselves with big names because they are trying uh, to mislead you each and every day so god bless you for tuning in to receive the word of god and because of that of these guys who are coming trying to take you away from him today i have a powerful message that i want to share with you as you tune in so kick the devil away make the devil run and they never have any place anymore in your life, you must allow Jesus Christ or oh, to take over your life. God bless you, God bless you as you tune in uh, to receive the word of God. I am glad to see you once again. 
wherever you are, I just want to uh, pronounce blessings uh, wherever you are. And I want I want you to know that uh, the presence of God is right there where, where you are. So receive divine touch. Uh, receive divine uh, healing. Uh, receive uh, divine breakthrough in your life. Whatever situation and whatever you are dealing with in this life, I pronounce blessings in Jesus' mighty name. And I, wanna, I, wanna, I want you to know that he is right there with you. Though I may look to be so, uh, pretty far away from where you are. Uh, maybe I am right here in North America. I just want you to know that wherever you are, his presence is right there. As you open up your heart and receive his word with, uh, with joy. With, with joy. Oh, he is there. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, the word of God tells us that where two or more are gathered in his name, the name of Jesus Christ, not the name of your apostles, uh, your bishop, not the name of the prophets, but where two or more are gathered in the name of Jesus Christ, there he is. So I can assure you that his presence is right there. Where you are, where you are. And my friends today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, wherever you are, uh, today I am uh, bringing the word of God. It's always about uh, the good news uh, about the kingdom of God because he's coming. It is all about Jesus Christ, not another person, not another human, not I myself because we want to make you his own disciples, the disciples of Jesus Christ. We want to make sure that you are following Jesus Christ, but not the so crooked today. Uh, those who call themselves men and women uh, of God, they call themselves very, very powerful men and the women of God. Uh, my friends, I want to warn you that these days, there are other spirits out there. Those miracles you see guys are performing. Oh, power of miracles. Oh, signs and the wonders. I want to warn you. There, there are other spirits. So those are evil spirits. Those guys, they are carrying some other powers. Uh, other powers. Uh, uh, those who are evil forces, that's what they are using. Many of them, it's not all of them. But it is so hard uh, to, to, to tell, to tell if you are not uh, a mature, I'm talking spiritual maturity, not like you who are babies, you are still, be, you still require milk. And then here yeah, you meet these guys who are the counterfeit of what is being done in the kingdom of God. There's no way you are going to survive. There is no way you are going to survive. That is why it's so simple uh, to not be misled. How do what, what can you do? It's just, you know, I have Jesus Christ. I do not need their miracles. I don't need any breakthrough in this life from another human being. I need it straight from him. From him. You ask yourself. says, you ask. Uh, you knock. And uh, and uh, you, you it says you seek and you are going to find. That is what the word of God tells us. But what many of you are doing these days, you just go through men. And some men, they dare even, or they call themselves a men and a women of God. They, dare, they even dare say that you can never ask anything from God unless you go through them. These ones are demons. This is certain. The devil is the devil right there. That is how you know this is a, this guy. Someone who's is showing that they are very powerful than you are. That uh, you cannot access the kingdom of God unless you go through them first. Uh, anything they tell you, you cannot become a servant of God unless we equip you, we train you. That is the devil right there. 
That is how the devil is trying to undermine the expansion of the kingdom of God. This is what it is. So these are some of the tactics and methods that the enemy is using. Are these guys who tell you each and every that you can never all oh, speak to Jesus. You can never communicate with God Almighty unless you, you go through them. This is the devil. This is certain right there. Yes, he has the face of that particular individual that you are seeing, who are telling you, you can never go straight to God. My friends, these are the last days. Make no mistake, and many people are not ready. They are not prepared. Many people, they lack a preparedness and a readiness for his soon coming. And I am talking about spiritual preparedness and readiness. Readiness when he comes. Are you ready, my friends? That is why today I have come with a message uh, that says the unforeseen uh, return. And uh, this is Jesus' uh, second coming. It's pretty near, my friends. Uh, we have been warned, and uh, everybody knows it. But these days, uh, people are caught up into this uh, kind of all kinds, of, kinds of, th of things. Maybe you are one of those guys who just, who is just freaking around. You say, I have received the Jesus Christ. I know, I know, I am saved, but the way you behave, the way you, you, you appear, your appearances, uh, your deeds, the, uh, the way you behave, uh, the way uh, you, you you, you conduct yourself each and every day. It is you look like like uh, demons with horns. You have horns, my friends. The demon, the beast. You are like a beast with horns. You are you are deceiving yourselves. You are you are the children uh, in the kingdom of God, and yet you are the children in the kingdom of of the devil of Satan. So this is a time. We must be ready. My friends, you read the word of God. It shows you the parable of uh, the ten virgins. Uh, it shows you the parable of a faithful servant. And all these are there to warn us, to show us that in the kingdom of God, we are not there just to mess around and live anyhow and anyway. Because many of you are just there are deceiving yourselves that you are ready or you have already received him. But when we look at you, we don't see him. And then you just say, oh, I am hiding Jesus Christ inside me. At the outside, the way I talk, the way I walk, the way I function, uh, uh, doesn't really matter. The way I dress, the way, I don't know, my appearance and whatever it is, this has nothing to do. My friend, it's a lie. That is a devil, the devil, that's a devil, the devil, the devil, that is the devil lying, is telling you a lie, teaching you, because these days, you, how do you tell people are not being, they don't have the Holy Spirit, it is because they are so confused, they do not even understand that, uh, being in the kingdom of God, there are specific way of life, you must abide to you can just be uh behave anyway and anyhow uh, and uh, talk like anybody and everybody who, who hasn't even uh known jesus christ that is uh, deception and that is why we see these days <laughs> that is why we see with many people in this life they just assume and uh, that they know Jesus Christ. They just deceive themselves that they have been, they have already received Jesus Christ. But when you check how they live this life, how they walk, how they talk, or the way they conduct themselves, uh, the way they inter they in they in inter interact with others uh, on a, on the uh, uh, each and every day, uh, it is. There's no difference. You can never differentiate them. My friends, you are like those um, uh, 10 versions. 
Some of them had their lamps full of, full of oil, and the other one who were stupid, uh, they did run out, and they did not even recognize that they must keep uh, their spiritual readiness <laughs> at all the time. They must keep their lamp uh, full of 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 oil. So it's the same as many of you these days. You are deceiving yourselves. Yes, I know Jesus Christ. I am a Christian, so fake and so possessed by demons. You just say you are a Christian simply because you attend a church. It's a mega church. It has a bunch of junk folders, Christians in there. All of them going to hell. And now you say, yes, I am saved. I know Jesus Christ. I have received him, him and I know him. But when you check and when we examine, we just see that you are simply following a human being. And let me repeat this very clear. You are simply following a human being, not Jesus Christ. You are simply are following the church, the mega church, where you attend. Never Jesus Christ. No wonder why your church is there. Uh, Jesus Christ is not being glorified. The guy you know the most is the founder of that uh, mega church because they say, this is my own kingdom. <laughs> I am the head. No wonder why they abuse you sexually. Anyway, they, they, they treat you as slaves. Uh, they tell you, you must bow down when I am passing. You must clap your hands uh, when I am passing. My friends, that's the glory of God, if you don't know that. That is the only glory that only God deserves. The praise and the worship that should be given to God. God, him and him alone, not in other humans. But these guys, you call them uh, prophets, um, Men and women of God are prophet prophetesses and the prophets and the bishops and the priests. You name them. So when they abuse you, you just bow down. You become slaves. As I said, uh, today's message is about him. the unforeseen uh, return. Uh, Jesus, second, uh, second coming. He is coming pretty soon, my friends. Are you ready? Are you prepared? My friend, uh, we seen a parable of a parable of a faithful servant. And, and this also shows us also a stupid servant who just go there and sit all, uh, uh, just relax and, and doing all kinds of stupidity. And that is what we see with many, many preachers these days. All those who call themselves, they are serving God. They are not telling you that. He is coming. Be ready. Get rid of your sins. Right? I'm talking about spiritual, spiritual readiness and preparedness. Are you ready? If he shows up today, my friends, make no mistake. No one should ever lie to you that they know the day or the hour when he's coming. It can be right today. It can be tomorrow. It can be next week. It can be uh, next month. It can be uh, two years ahead. It can be 10 years ahead. I don't even know because him, Jesus Christ, our Lord and the Savior, because he, he, was, he came from heaven. So he, he spoke heavenly things. He taught heavenly things. What he know exactly, not guessing. He didn't, he didn't go to theology. He wasn't a theologian. So he spoke heavenly things. Uh, but he said, about this day, only my heavenly father is the only one who knows the exact day and the exact hour. And many of you are going to be caught by surprise. It's going to be like a thief a thief or thieves coming to, to steal. You do not know. You, you are just sitting down, relaxing, having fun time with your, um, or you're having good time with your family. Or maybe some of you, you are into uh, all kind of, uh, uh, 
worldly lifestyle. You are enjoying all kinds of evil life. You, for you, you just say, oh, this is the current, the, the, the new life. We must enjoy. This is how we, we enjoy life. Our fornication, our lesbianism, and the gayism, and uh, you are talking about uh, uh, all kinds of things that uh, do not glorify Jesus Christ. And then here, yeah, he comes. So are you ready? Are you prepared? Or are you are just deceiving? You're going to go and the prophet is going to tell you and show you what is going to be and uh, which day he's going to show up. My friends, he said, no one ever knows the day. In heaven, on earth, and anywhere else, no one ever knows. Even the devil your own daddy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because if you are not, if Jesus Christ, if God is not your father, that means the devil. I am not talking about our earthly fathers. These are human beings. But you know, the, you are first, you are first and the foremost. Our father is God himself. Because he's the one who gave a life to you. He's the giver of life. Not your daddy and the mommy. No, my friends. And it's our heavenly father. That is why Jesus said, when we pray, we say, our heavenly father. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That is why. So we call him our father. Not any other name, my friends. So once you have that uh, relationship with God, it's pretty close. And you know, in this life, you are not on your own. You are not alone. He is right there for you. My friends, why am I bringing uh, this message? It is because, uh, let's go read the word of God. <coughs> let's, uh, let's read the word of God in uh, uh, 1 John. 1 John uh, chapter 2. We are starting from verse 27. Uh, to 28. This is what the word of God says. Says, as if, uh, uh, let's start from 26. Says, I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to, uh, to lead you astray. Uh, 27 says, as, uh, as for you, the anointing you, uh, you received from him remains in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you. But as, as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real and not counterfeit, uh, just as he has taught you, remain in him. 28 says, And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and, and unashamed before him and his, his coming. So my friends, as the word of God says here, in the first John chapter, uh, chapter 2, uh, from verse 26 to 28, we see that these words are coming to you. Or oh, today's message is coming to you simply because there are those who are, who are trying and that is exactly what they are doing. They are trying to lead you astray. In other words, they are trying to disconnect you. They are trying to ruin and to destroy uh, your relationship with uh, the living God. And uh, they are trying uh, to undermine it. Uh, to devalue uh, the, the communication you have with the living God. That is why they call themselves, uh, they, they describe themselves, uh, they name themselves as uh, the greatest prophet to exist in Nigeria, the greatest prophet to exist in Kenya, the greatest prophets, uh, prophet to exist in United States of America, uh, the greatest uh, prophet to exist in Asia, and the, the, the most powerful man, a miracle working guy in, in Asia, maybe in, in Vietnam, in the Philippines, uh, in Indonesia, or maybe in Canada, or in South Africa, they say, this is a very powerful man of God. 
They are, they are taking away. Uh, they are taking away your attention on Jesus Christ. In other words, they are making sure that you do not, you no longer pay attention on Jesus Christ. They, may, they are making sure that you never pay or fix your eyes upon him, Jesus Christ, because he is the main reason for any season in our lives, at every breath, at every moment. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. My friends, those are thieves. They come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They are destroying him. All you have needed in this life is Jesus Christ. He is coming pretty soon. And I see, and you would agree with me that many of you today, at this very hour, you know that you are not ready. Because no one ever uh, fully understands uh, your way of life. No one can ever uh, search your heart. It's just you and him. Who is going to give you each? Uh, who is going to give uh, or who is going to reward each and every human being according to their deeds? What you have done? Uh, the the way your paths you are following? Are you following him? Are you allowing him to guide you, or are you just uh, leading yourself to anything and everything? Are you being led by a human being? Because here yeah, the word of God tells us pretty clear that my friend. There is an anointing. An anointing. In other words, uh, there is a Holy Spirit that we have received from him. But many of you, you don't have the Holy Spirit. No wonder why you are being easily deceived and carried away, are being taken away from him. And it's simply because you don't have the Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit. All you have is the spirit of those guys. Following these guys. Listening to these guys. And you are not even, you are no longer, you are no longer in the tune with him. Our Lord and the Savior. My friends, this is a time we must stop following men. We need to be the followers of Jesus Christ, our Lord and the Savior. Make no mistake. Nothing to do with Islam, Buddha, Hinduism, Buddhism, whatever it is, uh, the Jehovah's Witness, uh, Adventist, uh, Pentecostals, Catholics. Uh, well, this is nothing. There is no life. Life is found in Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, the, the truth is found in Jesus Christ. Uh, you want to know that the way to heaven is found in Jesus Christ. Religion this any kind of religion you see on this planet earth the, it, those are human made institutions are trying to or to tell you oh this is the right way to go about god you want to find god i follow our religion give me a break shame on you shame on those guys who are are preaching about their own kingdom mega churches Oh, we have this, the, the best church, are the best singers. Oh, you, look how they, you look how they act and they do things. It's no more thing of singing about God or for the glory of God. It all has come around it. performance because people now, they want to be known themselves. And it's no longer about Jesus Christ. It's people trying to become famous. Eh? Famous on their own. Not any other person. I uh, just say, oh, this is my church. This is my church. I, 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 I began this ministry. Uh, a Pentecostal. You see these guys, they are there, seated there. And they are so well known. And when we see Jesus, we try to look for Jesus in there. Among them, you will never find him. But they still deceive themselves. And at the same time deceiving those who are following them. Oh, the, yeah, we are serving God. We went to school and now we know we know about God. But they don't have God. They don't know God. They know about him. My friends, it says the word of God tells us pretty clear. It tells us pretty clear that 
Oh, there is an anointing you have received. You have received an anointing. And it says you have received an anointing from him. So who is it? That portion. That is Jesus Christ himself. And it says pretty clear that the anointing, the Holy Spirit, is going to teach you everything. So you do not need anyone to teach you. That is why we are not teaching you. We are, are reminding you. We are telling you uh, so that you you can stay in tune with him, not with the men, the, those who come, you know. That is no wonder why these days people that are still a group and they find their own teacher, are finding their own, whoever they believe in, they believe in this God. So finding their own teachers, 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 theologian, guy, pretty good, well educated, know the Bible pretty well. And what happens, they end up feeding you their own ideas. And because you have put your trust in them, in your own teachers, and you have rejected the true one who can teach you and make you understand any and everything about the kingdom of God, what happens now, nowadays, you are just a following man, not Christ Jesus. So it's a time we must wake up because the word of God tells us pretty clear that we must be ready. He is coming. He is coming, my friends. Says now, dear children, continue in him. Remain in him. So that when he appears, we may be confident and not uh, be confident and ashamed and ashamed before him and his coming. So it's coming. The only way you are going to be confident, the only way you are going to be unashamed is when you remain in him. You remain in Jesus Christ. Remaining in Jesus Christ has nothing to go to attending, to, has nothing to do with attending a mega church. Why you think, oh, they have a, a nice, nice choir. They sing pretty good. Oh, look how they sing. But when you check and examine it, in the realm of the spirit, that is when we understand everything. Not in the physicality, my friends. That is when we read and know everything. I look at you, I know. The moment you say, the moment you speak, I will tell that you are not, uh, uh, you have no, you have no Jesus Christ. All you have is the spirit of Antichrist. The, the evil spirit in you. I see the way you perform in your church. I check and examine. I see the way you behave, the way you, co you conduct yourself. If you say, I'm judging you from outside, I don't care about what your, your opinions are because we must be like him, him, Jesus Christ. So, says we must remain in him. But these days, many people, they are no longer in Jesus' question. They are not remaining in Jesus' question because they think he is not doing what they are asking for. They, they think Jesus Christ is incapable and able to do what they are demanding from him because all you have from him is demand after demand after demand. So you, you have request after request after request. I don't ever think, I don't know that the Bible tells us, uh, says it. Let's, uh, let us make our request be known to God. Of course, but not every time I have a request. How do you ever see a person, if you have a kid, they are grown, now they know you have everything, and whatever you have, it belongs to them, but they still come each and every day. Can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have this? All this kind of life. How do you feel about this kid? Very annoying, very annoying. And uh, that is 
how many of you are. You are so annoying. Instead of putting the, your faith in him, by knowing that even if he does not do it today, even if he does not do it tomorrow, I'm going to still believe in him. If he does not answer me today, if he does not answer me tomorrow, I'm going to still have my faith in him. I'm, I'm not going to allow anything to come in between. And in between there, nothing, nothing ever in this life. So your faith is not just based on what Jesus can, must do. Now, and if he doesn't do it, then you start chasing those fake prophets, apostles, our bishops, our priests, and those who are now telling you they are in the place of God. So whatever you need, go to them. You need a miracle. You need a divine touch. You must go to them. Instead of saying, and go and communicate to God, and see, what does he say in his own word? What did he promise in here? He went on the cross and he paid the price. And they said, it is finished. So it is a finished work. Everything and everything in your life. Some people try to say only specific things. No, it is a completed and a finished work. Anything you have ever needed is found, anything good, is found in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, my friend. I know what the devil is doing in these days is making sure that you don't, you don't have spiritual eyes. All you have is the physical eyes. Eh? Why you can see riches. Why you can see someone prophesying. You moving from Africa to America or to Europe. That is what you want. You say, oh, that is a man of God. People are selling water. Anointed water. The so-called anointed water. Anointed oil. Anointed tissue cloth. Anointed a salt, whatever it is. And because you are so stupid, you just go and give in. So these guys are fooling you. They are making you become foolish. They are distracting you. You are so distracted to a such point that you are not aware that it's coming. Says we must, uh, we must uh, be ready. We must be prepared. A spiritual readiness at all the time. My friends, no one ever knows when he, this can happen. No one ever knows. I don't care who the person is. No one ever knows which day it can be, which hour it can be. As I said, it can be right today, tomorrow, and next month, 10 years ahead, 100 years ahead. But the question is, are you ready for his coming? God says, the only way you can be ready, you can be confident, and you can be un unashamed, is when you remain in him. <coughs> now my question to you. Now my question, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Are you prepared spiritually? Where do you stand? Are you putting your faith and your trust in, in a human being or you are trusting in Jesus Christ? Because the word of God tells us pretty clear here. Says, my friends, there are those who are trying to lead you astray. They are there and they are everywhere. They are, you know, this is what the devil does. The devil does never, does not sleep at any point in this life. He is always trying uh, to, to do anything and everything to make sure that he can get a hold of you. And I see many people these days, they are missing the point. The point is remaining in Jesus' quest. And I want to make sure you understand, this has nothing to do with the churches, especially these days. Why preachers of these days, they are always about money. You give bountifully, you give grudgingly, you give whatever. I 
this is how you are going to reap. My friends, call Paris Kori Arabasa. Hallelujah. Glory. He is coming very soon. The only way you are going to survive this is by remaining in him and by depending on his anointing. You have an anointing from him. The Holy Spirit. And it's not from a human. It's not from, it's not something that you have received from a prophet or from a bishop. No, you have received this from him and him alone. My friends, when we read here uh, in the first John again, uh, chapter 3 from verse 2 says, Our dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. That is Jesus Christ. And it says, everybody, everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself or herself just as he is pure. So, are you living a holy life? Are you living a holy life, my friends? Because the word of God tells us pretty clear that we do not know what we are going to be when we are, uh, when we are in the next life. But it says when he appears, well, we can be confident and we can be assured we are going to be like exactly like him. Exactly like him. So that is why from now on, when you are still in this life, you must resemble him. You must look and appear like him, Jesus Christ, our Lord and the Savior, my friends. He is coming. He is coming very soon. And I want to tell you this. And no one can guarantee you that you are going to see your tomorrow. Make no mistake. Some people, they think, oh, when I am in Jesus Christ, yes, or whatever it is. Our friends, being in Jesus Christ does not prevent your physical body to die. This is mortal body. <laughs> the immortal is inside you. That which cannot die is inside you. But this physical body can vanish at any time. Whether you are in Jesus Christ or you are not in him. And once this one is gone, the physical one, or that uh, the what is remaining is your immortal body, and that is what is gonna uh, stand before God, and that is the you who is, uh, uh, who is a spirit. Because many of you, you just see yourself as the physical body, and uh, so you know that is why you love yourself so very much when you are talking about Him coming. And you're like, no, 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 I don't have any, I don't have a husband, I don't have a wife, I haven't yet married. So, uh, no, 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 he's not coming soon. It does not prevent you from dying. You can die any time. That is what means, oh, he's coming at any time. He's coming at any time, it means, my friends, make no mistake, because of you, because many of you are just opening your eyes wide like this. Oh, it has been 2,000 years and it hasn't showed up. How many people have died? Even those who are pretty young, we are talking about one week, one week old, died. And you are still here. You think, oh, he's not showing up. My friend, we are not talking about... Let, let us not be deceived because the, the, uh, the techniques and the way the, the way the devil deceives many of you, they, they make you focus on that general event when he shows up, my friend. But my friend, his coming also has to do with your own personal life. If you die today, if you die tomorrow, if you die next month, are you prepared? Are you ready? That is what means the day and the hour, my friends. Everybody comes, they say their own things. They say exactly time when it comes. That is the general event. 
But what should make you worry a lot is if you die tomorrow. If you die now, are you prepared? Are you prepared, my friends? So as we are the children of God, he is pure, he is holy. We must be holy all the time, every day, in anything and everything we do. My friends, I'm asking you, are you ready? Are you remaining in Jesus Christ? Or are you still just chasing, chasing the miracle-working guys? Those who are, are, who are leading you astray because they are there. Now you believe in them and you forget the main point, the main reason for every season of your life is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ alone is Savior. Jesus Christ is coming very soon, my friends. It is sad that many are not going to see the kingdom of God. Though you are in church, you attend church, you attend service, you are tithing, you are giving your offerings. But my friends, I see that many of you are missing heaven. You are going to miss heaven simply because you are not ready. You are not ready. Your spiritual life is dead, is dead. You are just living in a physical body, attending and doing the deeds in the flesh. In the flesh, my friends, not in the spirit. So you are spiritual. Our life is dead. You are not uh, prepared uh, spiritually. Your spiritual readiness and preparedness is completely done. It's dead. I no wonder why. Uh, you are just simply following a man. Oh, what they say. Oh, he's a man of God. Very well respected. How dare you speak about them? Yeah, they, it's, 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 it's like they are greater than our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because the way you honor them, the way you praise them, the way you talk about them, they have now are taken the place of Jesus Christ in your lives. My friends, I just want to warn you. This is a simple warning about his coming. He's coming very soon. So let us be ready. Let us be prepared. Because you are, if you are not ready, and it shows up, my friends, you know you are missing the point. You are missing heaven. It doesn't matter if you are, you are a priest near you. Are you a bishop? Are you a pastor? Are you are an evangelist? You are a pastor? Are you, are, are you, you are prophets and the prophetesses? My friends, that will never make a difference. Any difference. The only way and the best way is to be known by him. Jesus Christ and not another person. And I hope, my friend, that you are, you are ready, you are prepared for his unforeseen coming. Or return uh, Jesus' second coming, which can, be ha can happen any time from now. My friend, I don't say any specific date. A time and a, and a day, day and hour, I don't know. But you can die tomorrow, today, any time. The point is you to be ready and to be prepared. When he shows up, you can all see him face to face. And then you can be like him. God bless you, my friends, for receiving this message. If you haven't uh, subscribed, I do encourage you to subscribe. So we can remain and become one family in him and him alone. So also, uh, remember to share with your friends, colleagues, and uh, and the family members, so that they can receive the true word of God. God bless you, and I will see you next time. I bless you now, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.